Greetings and salutations, fellow mortal denizens, and welcome back to Slenderman Plays Psychonauts 2. I'm your eldest entity known as Slenderman, and I shall be your guide through this circus catastrophe we find ourselves in. Last episode, we managed to find the Aquato family, but it seems as if they are not too accepting of this whole psychic thing. So in this episode, hopefully by helping them with their act, we can change their perceptions. At least that's the hope. I mean, I'm not too sure, because at this point it's all up in the air. No pun intended. And there's a supply chest I can actually open! Holy crap! Finally! At least one of these is freaking here. And that's a whole lot of money. Hell yeah! That's fucking baller. Pardon my language. Anywho. As far as I'm aware, the side quest in question, let's see, you have to prepare for the Shattered Mind, I know that, but what about the, alright, we basically have to help them set up the Aquato Dome, so let's head back to where the location of the dome was, which was back here, and I'm sorry, the mom is seriously guilt tripping this child to no end, like, Seriously, that is a mom who knows how to guilt trip. It's not fair to poor little Raz. He just wants to be himself. Like, don't make him do what you want to do. Let him live his life and be himself. It's the whole point of being a parent, you know. Sure, you can instill them with things that you knew in your day, but at the end of the day, they're gonna live their life and do their thing. You know, let them. You know, that's the whole point of growing up. Discovering yourself and, you know, doing what you can. Fire! All right, we're gonna float on up. <laughs> you see that? How can I not? It caught fire. Hmm. Let's see. A little. All Mr. Aquato, right. you almost started a forest fire just then. Uh huh. Well, it seems like Norma's at least getting along with the family. I guess she's trying to learn about us after how rudely she treated us before. I'm not letting that go for a bit. Seems like there's a lot to explore in this area. Right now we need to focus on the Aquatodome. So let's go do that. Though I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot I would like to see, considering, oh my, titanium! Oh my god, there's a lot of it too. I am making some serious rocks, I guess, because we can't say coin, because they're not coins. So I'm making some serious rocks. <laughs> I don't know. At least the cards are somewhat ah, like that. Today. Okay. Graffiti. What in the world? Don't look directly at Citanium. Why will you go mad? I don't know. They haven't really told us anything like that, so... Ooh, a I uh, mean, who doesn't love those? A what now? The flying fickle is a funicular. I think it's not running right now. For okay. Probably because the gears are missing. So I guess we need to find the gears to this funicular. Which are conveniently in the area. Okay, there's another gear. And fire! Well don't hit the fence gear! There we go. Alright, where's the last gear for this funicular thing? Did I just try to grab a rabbit? This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Well, it does look kind of scary. Looks like my kind of part of the forest, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, let's find that gear. I know we're supposed to be helping Dion with the whole building of the Aquatodome and all that, but I mean, come on. Yes, we did see that. We heard you talk about it, too. So, uh, talk about something else, please. Where's that other gear? I don't see it. Well, I'm sure if I find it, I'll bring it back, so I'm not too worried, I suppose. Okay, so there's the waterfall. Where's the place for the dome? I saw it last episode, so it shouldn't be too far away. Oh wait, it's at the beginning of the campsite. No wonder I was feeling so confused. Okay, let's go back. Hopefully along the way we can find that... Hello? I guess they've got a little thing here. So, good to know I can fast travel back to this area later on. Okay, so we've got to go past here. It's definitely not down there. That's part of the creepy woods. Okay, so this is where they're setting it up. Alright. Dion! 
Where are you? Oh, there he is. Hey, Dion. Yeah, don't worry about helping out, Squirt. We're used to getting by without you. Well, I'm here anyway, hey, so. Dion. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, he looks angry. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, wow. Mr. Dumbass. Oh, that's just rude. Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. Mm hmm. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. But Didn't really we already do that? Mental. You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? Um, You'll yeah. See. Hmm. Look, Dion. Let's see if we can try to weasel into his heart. Running away. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. Oh if you dear. Hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Wow, what a jerk. Ah. <sighs> Hey, I sent Sugar Q back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Yeah. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Jesus, Maybe is there no find you? Damn. What is with this family? Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Well, maybe if you tried accepting it, it wouldn't. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. His outfit's fine, shut up! You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Jesus, is his entire family filled with jerks? Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. A phase? He's a... Oh Phrase my god. Is a psychic. That's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! Ooh! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever. Do you even realize what you've done to the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. Oh, jeez. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. Agreed. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. Damn. Bye, Dion. I guess he's... We're not helping him out, are we? Hey, Dion. We can mm -hmm. try. But doesn't seem Bye, like Dion. it. Yeah. I say let's just do it anyway. I don't care. He doesn't want our help. That's his business, but... That's what we're here to do, so screw it. Alright, and we can use our new levitation ability, if I remember how to do it. Wasn't it? Didn't I upgrade that? Let me see. I should have sworn I did. I guess it didn't take, so let's do it now. Okay, now it took. Good. Alright, let's do this carefully. Now we just need to hit those over there. There we go. Much better. And the Aquato tent is put together. Or the Aquato dome, I should say. Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. It's not creepy, it's but psychic. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome. <laughs> put him in his place. Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Oh, what trick would that be? The dive. If you need to bail out of midair situation, once squeeze a little more distance out of your jump. This is B. Okay, let's try that. Ooh! That's going to be useful. Especially for like when you're in the midair and you're levitating and you do that. Oh, that's gonna be great! Fantastic! I guess helping the little shit was actually worth something. It's not big, but then again, neither were our audiences. Well, hey, at least just stay humble. Meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, uh, you and I are on the same boat on that one, buddy. Better a regular tent than a meat tent. Seriously, that whole sequence was freaky in the last game. Just saying. Okay, at the very least, it seems like we're doing okay, Bob. The music even stopped, did you notice? <laughs> like, as soon as I hit the ground, the music even went like, oh shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was kind of funny how that played out. 
Okay, so <laughs> let's let's do a take two on that, shall we? Woo! Okay, don't go the wrong way, you idiot. Okay, take two. Woo! And out of you. Let's actually carefully land on the thing. There we freaking go. Much better. You know, thinking about it, isn't this the same layout as the fight finale of the first game? Like, I might be wrong on that. You know, quote me if I'm right or wrong. I don't know. But it feels like... Oh, hello. Hello, side challenge, Amen. Oh, it even if it gives us a way back down. Well, that's nice. I guess it was worth it to put together the circus tent. Okay, good. Let's head back to the campgrounds to let dear mother know that our psychic powers managed to help a situation. Hopefully by then we'll find the other gear to that whatever the hell the thing was. The thing that starts with an F that Raz brought up. And now I can't remember the name of for the life of me. Okay, back to the Aquatos area. All right, um, where's Mother Dearest? Oh, there she is. Hey, I helped. Even gonna... Hey, Mom. Oh, yes, Rasputin? She looks so freaky. What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. Uh -huh. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. We can only hope, right? Can I help? Yes. Tell me how to make the devil's fire hose reach even greater heights. Why not some psychic some push push? That sentence, and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. Oh, no, it will not. Stop exaggerating. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. Jeez. What if we incorporate animals in the act? Ooh, Overall, interesting. children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. <laughs> what sort of politics is that to use? What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Ooh, yeah, no, that's a... Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. I mean, circus performers do put themselves at risk all the time. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. <laughs> Jeez! Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Oof, ouch. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? <laughs> That's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Queepy? Hmm. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were. Before the curse. The curse. Can I ask you about the Tell curse? Tell us more. Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, mm -hmm. Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind Ooh. and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. No we wonder. We don't have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have... Family. Highly stretchable ligaments. Oh my oh, god. Yes, and family. <laughs> Why is that always the second thing in these situations? Who cursed us? Too many questions. Stay away from the water! Okay, Nona. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. <laughs> Leon seems really mad at me. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get over your betrayal of the family soon. Oof. I didn't betray the family. Nope. Listen. Your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. <sighs> and now your father has this change of heart. Suddenly everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Uh-huh. Help him with his chores. Go. Well, I already did that. Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One really? side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts, and the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. I feel like this whole but thing is just because of the curse. You are a psychic now, so we are all being very broad-minded. Or at least trying to be. I am a psychic. So's Dad, and so's for Ow! Jeez! Yes. And I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. Ay, ay, ay. 
How do you feel about Dad being psychic? Interesting question. Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Very healthy. It's smoking. Hey, everybody! My pine cone is. Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Okay, she might have a point there. To you? No, not really. You know, Agent Foresight is a very important psychonaut, and she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Eh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. Of a course. circus can only have one prima donna. Then <laughs> that's you. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. Oh, you, Jesus. You latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay, I mean, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. That is such a guilt trippy thing to say. What in the hell? What is this mother's beef? Seriously, I get the curse to die in water and all thanks to a fortune teller, but come on! Doesn't that seem a bit extreme? It's not Raz's fault things ended up this way. Why take it on the kid who's trying to make things better? I'm genuinely annoyed by this. Like, seriously, what business does this mother have to do such a thing? I'm sorry, it's kind of bullshit. And I don't rightly appreciate the way she treats a child. It's not right. It's really not right. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit passionate about these things. Anyway, opening up the next supply chest, more Cytanium. Alright, we're up to 700 out of 1,000. Shoot, we're gonna need to start saving up soon. Actually, now I think about it, we're close to that cave. Might as well... Okay, Raz, can we... There we freaking... Oh, that works. No complaints there. Yep. Okay. You know, I wish I had the one ability that just attracts these things towards you. I mean, you find the Yeti, good for you. Okay, that can very easily be burned. Sure. Okay, seems like there's a lot of secrets in here. That's for inciting violence between cryptids. Amen. Violence between cryptids is not the answer. Don't know. We're gonna find out, aren't we? We're finding all sorts of mysteries and secrets and things. And a side challenge marker! Yes! Come with me, the side challenge marker. Alright, we can upgrade? What has two points? Nope. Need at least three. Still, nice surprise. Okay, moving along. What's down here? There's some sort of markings on the cave. There's another concussive proof Sasclops. Sasclops? Okay. What's this say? I wanna believe in Sasclops, but you're not making it easy, guys. No, very much not. Ooh! Well, the expiration and of corn. this thing is the year I was born. That's some old corn. Talk about being corny. Okay, so that seems to be it for this cave. I'm starting to see why this questionable area went out of business. Yeah, no kidding. It's questionable why these things are even here in the first place. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. Right? Creepy. There oh, that's are. creepy. Aw, oh, man. We found my private dancing place. Sorry, buddy. Sorry? Too late. You ruined it. Oh, great. Our mom's looking for you. Oh, jeez. So I guess it's a scavenger hunt to find Queepy. Okay, so let's just keep going and... Oh, hold on. Hold it. Definitely didn't want to do that. Okay. Telekinesis. Right. I hear the music. So... Wait, it was clairvoyant. What was I thinking? I hear music. I don't see Queepy. I think it's through this cavernous area up here. So let's roll up. Okay, I guess we can't roll our way up there. I guess we need some sort of... Unless, of course, we just do this all the way up there. But it seems like we can't. Yeah, see, as soon as we get up there, it's like it doesn't work. 
Okay, so let's uh, burn some bushes. Maybe that'll help. Don't see how, it just creates fires. Oh, it gives me health? I guess burning some dead bush actually is helpful. Okay, at least I got the health I lost back. Okay, let's head on back, I guess. I guess we're going up this way to the thing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, expect me to have the answers, but I don't. But I seem to be going the right way. More than likely, it's going to take me three tries to find Queepy, so... Yeah, I hear the music. There, there you are, you little... What are you listening to? Radio hmm. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it! Well, good for you! Oh. Can I listen to it with you? No! Jeez! Snooty little brat. Where the hell did he go now? I guess I just follow the path? Well, that leads me back to the supply chest. So, great. Where the hell could he have gone now? Oh, oh dear! That would have sucked. Oh, gotta listen in for radio music. Yeah. Not seeing or hearing anything. Oh, there's gotta be a better way to go about this. Okay, maybe not that way. Hmm. I am curious as to why that waterfall goes upwards instead of downwards. Makes some damn sense. Oh man, that just went right in the damn water. Stupid nonsense. Oh, whoa, okay, let's uh, let's bounce our way up, shall we? Where the hell would that kid have gone? Couldn't have gotten far. He said, "Think." Don't see him. I don't hear him. Where the hell did Queepy go? I'm trying to figure this out because I'm curious. So usually it takes like three things to find someone. So maybe on this time finding Creepy will actually get somewhere. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here because I really have no idea. <sighs> I'm also trying to find that last gear for the one thing. As you know, secrets abound and stuff. I don't know. I'm just trying to fill the void because I try to find this rat. Wait, hold on. No, that's not the music for this area. Although there's a bent ladder here. Might as well take a look. Some ropes can be cut with side blast. Oh, good to know. Might as well just grab on the day. Actually, grab onto it, Rasputin. Okay, let's uh, grab hold of that and make our way over. Let's grab the card. It's over here. Far fetched fall. Okay, I'll admit. The waterfall is questionable. Yeah, very questionable, more like. Seriously, how the hell does that work? I'm Eldritch, and even I'm trying to figure that out. All right, let's just climb our way up. Slide. There's some sort of. This Citanium is fake. Really? You try to claim that as Citanium? Oh. Good grief. Oh, there's another one of those items for the uh, scavenger hunt. Okay. Is slow, but I think this hmm. guy is overstating. Uh huh. Let me guess. The fireworks went down instead of up? Probably. Well, at least I'm gathering up some titanium or site challenge cars and all that stuff. Making some progress here. And yet another supply freaking. Supply chest keys are plenty. Who are you? Hey, Frazy. Oh, Frazy. I can't believe Mom forgave you so easily. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get involved Later, with all this. Traitor. Oh, jeez. So does everyone think he's a traitor at this point? Because I'm getting some major nasty vibes from this entire family, save for the dad who actually gets it. Ugh. Well, whatever. It's gonna be a way for me to save before we end things off. Because seriously, if I exit now, it's... Oh! Never mind. Okay, we're calling it a day. Tune in next time as I continue to try and solve this family's problems. So till then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I'm breaking family trauma. Kind of like Encanto when turning red.
Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Cinemagen Reviews, Erin Lina, Grimmy Leon, Hitsu on a Credit and Toe, Honor Higgins, Aisha BDD8, Jesse Barbo 6, Jesse Alvarez, Mighty Claw Fight, and Nagi Oki, Sonic Destroyer 12, Sonic Star 21, Why Me 2021, Panda 475, Timid Recluse, Boss Maker, Dibble 1414, Katie Honey Jade, Kylie Childs, Michaela Donnelly, Princess Funnybone, Ruby the Wolf, and Silver Fox MC. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and a chance to choose a Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this has been Slenderman, chilling in the forest, and I'll see you all next time. Toodles!